Well, welcome back. Our friend Chef Daniel Green is known for, of course, creating beautiful, wonderful, healthy menus. Uh, he does that for airlines and hotels. He's written 12 cookbooks and had two Food Network shows, and he's a regular on the Hallmark Channel and here at Care 11 as well. It's great to have you here. You, of course, in this market, so philanthropic, so wonderful oh. to so many uh, organizations, including, of course, the Ronald McDonald House. And it's good to see you. Thank you. So nice to be here. So this uh, vegetarian healthy menu is for which hotels chain? So the Standard Hotel, which is a brilliant boutique hotel. They're in London, they're in New York, they've got the Maldives, they're opening in Australia, but they've got two properties in Thailand. And I've done a lot of work over there and always on the healthy. And they said, because it's got such a kind of vibe of young and a real hip crowd, they want to do some vegan menus. So I've done 30 recipes for them that I'm launching next month. Wow. And um, it's been a wonderful experience because I know vegan, but a lot of times people think of vegan as healthy. It doesn't always have to be that because you can put a lot of sugar in, you can throw things in deep fry. So I've tried to keep it very close to almost paleo, just really kind of healthy, but it's got to have substance. And cauliflower is just so um, universal. I mean, it's just, you can do so much with it. You can, I mean, you can rice it, you can have it. It's kind of meaty, it's got a really nice texture. And I've just got some olive oil and then a little bit of paprika. And what I'm going to do is roast it. And when you roast it, it really, it can come out really nice and crunchy. It's almost like it is deep yeah, fried. Yeah, it doesn't really have a ton of flavor on its own, but then so you can really kind of make you it can. whatever you want, right? Absolutely. You can really kind of use it in so many dishes, even if you're doing, replacing it for rice, you can do that. So I love this when you cut it like a steak there. Exactly. So that's kind really of, neat. it makes it feel a bit more like a meal. So what I'm going to do is pop this in the oven 400 degrees. It went in there for about 40 minutes. You 40 turn minutes. it one time between that so you can get more paprika on okay. and then it comes out absolutely lovely like this. Wow, look Sizzling it. a little bit. Mm. And then we're going to make a little puree. So okay. I've got some avocado and this is where we're trying to add a little bit of the fat and we've got a little bit of the protein and you want to make sure, you know, you've got the guts of the dinner to have some real substance. And, it and wants what's in to here? Be, um, that is, thank you for that, it is a broth, just a uh, vegetable broth. A vegetable broth. So we've got a okay. vegetable broth in here and what we're going to do is give this a blend and then we'll just give that a little bit. And what we're doing is making this wonderful puree. That's going to go on the base. Meanwhile, to dress it up, I've got some cashews and I've made a cashew butter. And with that, I've just put cashews and I've put it in a blender and I put that with a oil. You can use any oil, uh, but I've used a coconut oil. Okay. So that's going to be a nice little drizzle at the end. Cashews, I mean, are, are also amazing. They become just this fabulous, milky, you know, wonderful texture to anything when you when you put them into different kind of sauces. Right? Absolutely. Using I've learned a lot. You know, even using like soy milk, if you put soy milk and you do that with some olive oil, you get like this incredible mayonnaise that's vegan. So it's really interesting to play around with some of these recipes and really get um, into it. And that's what this is all about, this okay. kind of... Uh, vegan voyage they're calling it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to pop in a little bit of that it's a little hot and then <laughs> drizzle around a little bit like that. They're nice and crunchy and they've got great texture to them and the paprika gives it a nice lift of colour and then what we do is we take a little bit of that cashew, cashew butter and it's a nice texture and wow. that's going to give a little bit more fill to it and then we'll just always, always, when you're cooking at home, if you add a few little just chopped herbs at the end, Bob, you'll like this. It kind of lifts it. It, it comes to it comes Look how to pretty life. that is. It's beautiful. And you'll probably have a great time launching those uh, recipes in Thailand. Shh, don't Exciting tell my wife, Jane. No, it's going to be terrible. <laughs> just terrible. Absolutely. Thank you for coming on. We always thank learn so something, much. and everything is always so beautiful and tasty as well. So Thanks thank you, and Thanks, congratulations Linda. on all of your ventures. Uh, you can find more about Chef Green and get his recipes on care11.com. We have a link to all of his activities. And also, if you text the word recipes to 763-797-7215, you'll get a link to this beautiful cauliflower recipe. And we we will be right back.